Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. Happy hump day. We got a good one today. We are going to be using macaroot. Like the stuff. Um, CDB turned me on to it, if y'all do not know. CDB used this for quite some time as like his only soap, really. Um, whipped it up in the Captain's Choice. Probably take some more water. We'll see. With the razor I'm using, I... Uh, I do need it to be a little on the thinner side because the blade gap for the lather really does suck. Um, it will clog. We are using my Teton Shaves. Awesome. Love the rocks in there. If you watch me, you know this is kind of one of my go-to brushes. Hadn't used it in a while. It's like, man, we're going to use that today. So Splay a little. If y'all don't know, I've been trying to get some ingrown hairs out, like right around this area. If I open anything up today, it's probably due to those ingrowns. Although, the last three shaves I've had, I didn't cut myself, didn't open up any uh, um, ingrowns or any blemishes, so it's a good sign. Let's see if we can maintain it. We're going to use the Focus Dynamic, I believe it's the R48. It's aluminium. I picked mine up from the Superior Shave. I don't know if he still has it, but this is a very um, mild shaver. And it tells you, just press that head in. Hear the clicking? It shouldn't click until you... Uh, Let it off your face. There we go. I don't press as hard when we're getting to the goatee area. Just the, just the handle length. And this isn't everybody's cup of tea. It's almost one of those gimmicky razors. For the in-between guy. You know, the person first moving from carts. I'm not going to put the pressure on my neck. Just adjust handle angle. We'll see how many passes we do. Because, you know, I do like four passes with this thing. And generally not get any irritation. Um, I've had the blade in there for a while. So this will be the last shave on this blade. Add a little water, because I can add a little bit of water to this. Like I said, we just wanted it to feel good on the face. Figured I'd add water as I needed. And that's what we're doing. So. Let's go against. Almost slid directly. I mean, it almost glid over without cutting anything. There we go. Getting a little quiet. Macaroon just has this like clean. Soapy scent. It's quite pleasing. But it's not like some bomb scent. I'd rather use it than Parasso Green. It's kind of against the grain for me right there. I 
All right. I like the color. It's red. Guarantee when DK watches this video, he's going to be like, hmm, something red to come off. Looks like there's a little scabby piece right there. I don't know where it came from. But you know, macro roots are really slick. So it's crazy. All right, guys, we're going to rinse up and we will be right back. Nope, yep, didn't open anything up. Don't, eh, maybe we did. We'll see. We'll see in the when I rinse up and I'll let you know. All right, we had a good rinse. Everything seems good. There was a little bit of weepage. It's not around when I dried off my face and sat there for a minute to see if it was uh, weeping. We didn't use any uh, alum. So, last use of the Focus Dynamic. What we're going to do is, see that? You just slide it over. Pull it out. There it is. Blade taken out. That's what the base looks like. Head looks like. Show you all from the back side. It just slides over. So. All right, guys, we're going to use fine, clean vetiver. Gift from CDB. This is unobtainium. So, fragrance alcohol. Oh, yeah. That's the bird you want. Frick yeah. That's nice. I haven't been using aftershave lately. I've just been using balm, and I miss the... Uh, burn so that's clean vetiver from fine really nice nice scent we're gonna go back to the codex I'm gonna give two pumps slightly wet the hands and then we just rub it in between I've got really calloused hands so I do do two bumps Let's take the glasses off I do two pumps so that uh, if it soaks into my hands, I still get plenty onto the face. Oh, that feels good. Every man must have a daily mo facial moisturizing routine. That's what I'm told. I'm just going to keep repeating it. Maybe I'll do it. So, scent of the day. Terre de Mez Etre Fresh. Um, kind of... Middle-aged scent, kind of an everyday scent. Spray it on. It's got water notes, citruses, I think bergamot, and then goes down into like cedar and patchouli. Doesn't have vetiver, but it's kind of got that vetiver feel. So we're just putting it on with the vetiver. Actually, let's do another spray. Hit the hair. Yeah. It's kind of bright off the top little herbaceous, and then it just kind of goes down into this like cedary vetiver, but on the clean side, like the patchouli is not funky. I'm not a big patchouli guy. So guys, scent of the day. Do love the Teton Shaves with this knot. It's a great synthetic knot, one of my favorites. Um, the only other favorite I have is a quarter moon from a uh, turning shave. So the quarter moon, and the one Teton uses that's like the Trafalgar T3. Very nice. All right, guys, y'all have a good one, and hope to see y'all later this week.